Hey, a little update on, you know, I'm, I'm thinking of instituting a Taylor Swift ban on this show. Should, should I do that? There are so many Taylor Swift stories coming out. It's like, you I know could, it's too much. Should we, should we do a, you know what? Let me ask the audience here quickly. Let's, uh, the phone call, we had a lot of downer phone calls on the whole uh, Roxanne seance deal or psychic thing. <laughs> Tell us psychic. Uh, you know, l- let me, let me try to, let me try to refresh the phone lines here. <laughs> It was a refreshing story I, if you listened and didn't talk the I, whole time. I did listen, Roxanne, but I mean, it, it wasn't a 30-minute Roxanne monologue. I mean, we had to have a conversation on the thing. Yeah, we, yeah, we All did. Right. All right, now, I don't regret it. Now, I want to go to calls on this. Uh, folks, should we make this show Taylor Swift free? So if we have, like, Taylor Swift or Travis Kelsey or the related stories, should what are your thoughts? Should we expunge anything Taylor Swift from this show. Listen, I'm honest. I'm not a fan. I'm not a... I, I find her to be totally contrived and stilted and everything is orchestrated. There's nothing that is like natural and human-like. I, I, I find it to be just very orchestrated and robotic. Now, if you're a Taylor Swift fan, I've got no problem with that. To each their own, as long as what you're doing doesn't hurt somebody, as long as what you're doing uh, is legal, I have no problem with your likes and dislikes. If you're a Taylor Swiftie, then you have at it. Live and let live, baby. But as far as the MJ Morning Show goes, you know, I got a couple of uh, additional Taylor Swift items here. So my question, should we make this show totally Taylor Swift free? Should we just, what was the, remember there was a, a celebrity at some point. Who did we like kind of ban and bar from the show? I think we had one time we had a, Paris Hilton ban. You know what? Years ago, I think we did. That it was just so, it was Paris Hilton. This Paris. I th- did we have a Kim Kardashian ban at one point? I'm trying to remember. We might have. Yeah. So, what are your thoughts? Now, I'm going to deliver just a couple of these items, and then I'll grab some phone calls on whether you think we ought to institute just a, a Taylor Swift blackout on this show. You know, sort of like when. Spectrum and Disney were having an argument, yeah. you know, to just, just <laughs> black it right out. I'm going to put up a black screen on the show that says, uh, yes, due to a dispute, a carriage dispute, <laughs> we're, we're banning Taylor Swift. All right, I'm just going to take one round of calls. Yes or no. Should we institute just a Taylor Swift news blackout on this show and just not even bring her up? But before I do, did you see NBC is being called out for Sunday Night Football? They, I'm, I've read numerous stories now, like this one's from Sports Illustrated, on how NBC embarrassed themselves by like fawning and falling over Taylor Swift. Do you know how many times they showed Taylor Swift <laughs> on, on NBC's Sunday Night Football? How many, during the broadcast, how many times did they show Taylor Swift? Froggy, start it off. Uh, three times. No. Next. Wait. Fester, how many times? I mean, if they showed her twice pregame, twice a quarter, what, 10 times? That is incorrect. No one's gone over yet. God, Roxanne. Give her some space. How many times did NBC show Taylor Swift on TV in the box uh, during the game on Sunday night? 41. Oh, that. Uh, oh. Quite yeah. a jump. Yeah. From, from yeah. 10 to 41. Yeah. Nah, you just uh, you just uh, made the mountain climb and go right over the cliff. What was that, 25 times? 17 times. Oh, wow. That's wow. a lot. I mean, really, to cut away to Taylor Swift 17 times on the end, that's just too much. And uh, this is not me. This is uh, from sportsillustrated.com. And from start to finish, the Chiefs-Jets game, was hard to stomach for a legitimate fan. And listen, a lot of sports analysts are saying, you know, you know, Taylor Swift and this whole little uh, promance or whatever the heck it is with the uh, Chiefs tight end, uh, Travis Kelsey, that it's, it's taken away from the football. It's like, folks, people want to watch football. They don't want this tabloid esque uh, Taylor Swift involvement here. So a lot of people are saying enough is enough. I mean, they don't show her instead of plays, do they? Yeah, I mean, oh, yeah. they they missed two touchdowns showing Taylor oh. Swift. No, I'm, ki- I'm, I'm, I'm kidding. They didn't miss two touchdowns. Third and but, four for the Jets. Oh, we missed it. Uh, Taylor Swift. Yeah. Next to Patrick Mahomes' wife. So NBC seventeen times they showed that's excessive. Patrick Mahomes' wife is like, "Thanks for coming. Yeah, I really appreciate you." 
Give me a break. And now uh, Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey, they talk every day. He's completely smitten with her, according to her. Uh, listen, I They think- show them looking at each other, like, when he's on the field and she's, uh, uh it's so douche chilly. Let, let me tell you right now that I think this is manufactured. I think they are both getting I hate it. an enormous, do you know how much publicity, do you know how much this is adding to Taylor Swift's brand and even more so to the Travis Kelsey brand? We had a story earlier this week that Travis Kelsey could make $10 million in endorsements and other ancillary money because of this whole Taylor Swift Promance deal. Just $10 million? Uh, I feel like I've seen him in more ads uh, in the last two weeks than I ever have before. Yeah, yeah but that, really. that, those, were, those were done a long time ago. They didn't just whip these up in 26 hours. So, uh, again, uh, Taylor Swift is an NFL distraction, and a lot of the, the serious fans and the analysts and the commentators – you know, even the ones that aren't saying anything are like rolling their eyes and like, oh my God, can we just play football? All right, I want to take phone calls here before we go to break. Uh, every line is loaded. I've asked you, the MJ Morning Show listener, a question. Should we go Taylor Swift free on this program and just not deal with anything Taylor Swift ever again? It's like Taylor fatigue, really. Jackson in Clearwater. Jackson, MJ Morning Show, you're up. Go ahead. Hey, guys. Yeah, I mean, I listen to you guys every day on my way to work. It's about a half an hour drive. And any time that you mention Taylor Swift is the only time that I ever turn it off. What about all the downer phone calls during the Roxanne Seance segment? (laughs) I would rather listen to two hours of just that phone call than you mentioning Taylor Swift for five minutes. Awesome. All right, thank you. This is why I'm taking phone calls, because I really value listener input. Thanks, Jackson. Have a great day. Thanks, guys. You too. Christy is in Bushnell. Hello, Christy. You're on the MJ Morning Show. Yes, 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 and yes. I love the Kansas City Chiefs, and I don't even want to watch their games. All right, so you want me to remove all elements of Taylor Swift from any future broadcast? Yes, I do. I Like I said, I don't even like to watch the Chiefs games anymore, and they're one of my favorite teams. Oh, okay, because of Taylor Swift. All right, thank you, Christy. I appreciate it. Sherry's in Bradenton. Hi, Sherry. You're on the MJ Morning Show. Hi. Hi. Please go Swiftless. Go as as possible. All right. That's, uh, man, she's not doing well here. It's three Swiftless now. Thank you, Sherry. That opened up a line. 800-990-1047. 800-990-1047. Should we go Swiftless? No more Taylor Swift on the MJ Morning Show unless she's in like a fiery bus wreck. Or, you know, oh, uh, something yeah. tragic happens. Well, <laughs> that's the exception. Hell, J- Jimmy, are you laughing? <laughs> Jimmy's yeah. laughing. Yeah. Jimmy laughs. Jimmy likes to uh, laugh. Jimmy thinks you're man, funny. I, Jimmy's. I tell you Jim- what, yes, Jimmy. I, this is. Uh, that, that's the only time I want to hear. Now, not that I want anything tragic to happen. Yeah, I don't want anything tragic to happen either. But, but yeah, I, I am so sick of it. I, and you're saying 17 times they broke away yeah. to show her in the in the in the in the skybox. Yep, that's just utterly ridiculous. It is. Um, if she is a distraction, she needs to go. Jimmy, thanks for the call. Jimmy, uh, Jimmy, Jimmy likes the MJ Morning Show. Thanks for the I call, love Jimmy. The MJ Morning yeah. Show. Thank Jimmy, you, Jimmy. Jimmy loves the MJ Morning Show. Jimmy, what, what's Jimmy? What, what's what's Jimmy doing for dinner tonight? Uh, probably gonna have a stromboli from uh, Capri Pizza here in Zephyr Hill. Oh, that sounds good. Jimmy likes stromboli. stromboli. Jimmy's yeah. a stromboli fan. All right, Jimmy, have a, you know what we're Jimmy doing to get the bit. Jimmy, you know you know what we're doing, right? Yeah, you're making fun of me. No, no, no. The, oh, the, no. the, whole, the whole the whole the whole Jimmy thing. We're very specifically making fun of you, it's, not it's, just arbitrarily. It's the Jimmy segment. It's the Jimmy dude from Seinfeld. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. yeah. Not the Jimmy Legs. That's a whole different episode, I think. All right. Thanks for the call. Uh, phones are loaded on this. Robert is in Trinity. Robert, Taylor Swift, yes or no, MJ Morning Show in the future. I say you have a Taylor free Tuesday and Thursday. There you go. <laughs> yeah, like, that, right. like two days no yeah. Taylor. I'm putting you down as a no. Thank you. Uh, appreciate it. Nancy's in Bradenton. Hey, Andrew, this is the last batch of calls. I got to take a break. We're running late. Nancy, Taylor Swift, on or off the MJ Morning Show? I say take her off. Yes, take her off because she's got enough publicity. It's on the news. It's everywhere. Yeah, I know. Thank you. Look at that. No one has said keep Taylor Swift content on the show. Nobody. Rich in Dunedin. Rich, MJ Morning Show. Taylor Swift on or off? 
Complete fan, please. Complete fan. <laughs> complete fan. Complete fan. <laughs> not a fan wants a complete ban. Thank you, Rich. Yep. All right. She's not doing too well. All right, two more calls, and i got to take a break because we're running late. I'm, I'm like four minutes late here, five minutes late. Nico's in Tampa. Taylor Swift on or off the MJ Morning Show as far as content? I think only Hal is the one who should talk about Taylor Swift. <laughs> yes. oh, we'll we have go. some Taylor news coming up this Friday uh, yeah. during Hal Herman headlines. Only Hal Herman exactly. can talk. <laughs> That's right. All the latest. Uh, thank you. In real. Uh, have a good one. And then last call on this. Hector in Tampa. Hector Taylor Swift on or off the MJ Morning Show. I want her off the MJ Morning Show because this is the MJ Morning Show. Nobody should be allowed to talk but MJ. <laughs> is this Jason again? <laughs> wow. Jason's uh, or, cousin or, Hector. Or Hal Herman. Yeah, that's right. All right, thank you, Hector. All right, this isn't a public access show, uh, Hector. Nobody said yeah. keep Taylor content on the MJ Morning Show. No one. Man, and I the- wish I never smashed that Taylor Swift guitar. It might be worth <laughs> something right now. <laughs> right. <laughs>